Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series. Let's play Wildstar. I'm right over here. This is me. I'm uh... <laughs> I don't know, I felt with going like a very sinister type creature. And uh, of course I gotta have a sinister type name to go with it. Only the most sinister of sinister. Super dark, grim, gritty shadow soul. The uh... what is it? The Drac... Draken. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have very much experience with Wildstar in particular, but I do have a lot of experience with MMOs, despite never playing any on my channel, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, so I'll, this is going to be a little bit more of a casual series, because MMOs tend to be a little bit more grindy, but I'm really excited. This game has gone free to play, and I, I liked it a lot when I played in beta, haven't played it since. Let's just, I don't know, let's get get into it, and I'll, uh, it's the kind of thing that I can explain as I'm talking about it. Oh, wait, what? Explain as I play. So let's get our first couple quests. I will say, I, there's a couple options you can play, like, a, a super tutorial, like, how to play video games tutorial. You can do a how to play Wildstar tutorial, and then you can just go, I want to jump right into the game. I, I played up to maybe level... Um, what is it? 18, 19 on my main character. So I got a, a, the gist of it. And I figured instead of doing all that, all that tutorials, I'll give you a rundown of what the hell I'm doing. Uh, basically, oop, my character is an explorer. Amongst, oh, also, let me just say, uh, I am wearing armor. I just thought that, uh, having a costume, quote unquote costume, where all my clothes are g gone except for my pants, f kind of fits the s the ironically sinister namesake. Um, but yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> There's so much to talk about with this, and that's exciting. We got a lot of time where I can talk about it. Um, I am playing as a spell slinger. I think it's called. It's kind of like a magical gunman. Basically, I can either be a DPS person, da deal a bunch of damage, or I can be a healer. I haven't decided what I am yet, because let's get real. I'm uh, I'm level three. Oh, that's cool. I start out at level three with a couple extra abilities unlocked. Okay, but ab ab above or not above, but amongst the class, which is the spell slinger, I'm also a explorer. You can choose between a couple things like explorer, soldier, whatever, and that's sort of like. It uh, decides what kind of side missions you're gonna go off a uh, uh, go off on, and uh, as an explorer, it's gonna be like climbing to high places, going into caves and what have you. I figured it would be a nice um, break from just killing, 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 because there's gonna be enough of that already, and uh, I'm really excited to be playing this. I love love MMOs, and I'll sort of talk about my experience with them through the course of the series, or maybe just all in one big burst. Played a lot of World of Warcraft. A lot of World of Warcraft. Uh, whatever your opinion is on it, it's definitely one you can say it was the definitive MMO for its time. And I, I really liked it. And I, I still do, I go back to it occasionally, but this game, I, I played it, like I said, in I got into the ooh, closed beta. I was immediately grabbed by the visuals. Like, I really... I'm into the cartoony visuals. Other people may not be. I think they're very pleasant. But the other huge thing that I think this game does amazingly is um, the combat. Other MMOs kind of have, like, this very straightforward... Like, oh, now I gotta press my two. Uh, like, whatever, like that. And Wildstar, you see these things on the ground. You're like, oh, that's gonna be an attack, so you gotta dodge out of it. There's a lot, it's a lot more mobile. Like, you, you're, uh, you gotta be watching out for stuff a lot more. You gotta run around a lot more, which, which is, I think, makes, probably makes it more interesting to, uh, watch. I should probably use my three ability to show off what it is. But there's so much to get through that I'll, uh, I'll explain it out. I'll, I'll explain it all, I, I promise. Uh, if you're watching this and you you know a lot about Wildstar, I don't. 
I, I just very very little experience beta years ago year ago two years ago I don't even remember when that was and then uh, maybe like three or four days of the free-to-play after a very buggy and kind of nasty launch <laughs> like I'll, I'll just be straightforward it was a pretty nasty launch uh, everything seems to be ironed out a couple days later they added a few more servers and everything just seems to be running overall much much smoother and I'm having a blast I'm really really enjoying it so far so hey let's make a series despite being different I mean Diablo is pretty grindy and like and uh, it's like one of my most popular series so I, th I don't know I, I think I I enjoy grind to an extent when it's done in a in a interesting enough way and I think from what I've played so far it keeps it it keeps it interesting let's uh boop. let's line them up oh and nice but yeah I, you'll notice I'm if you know about Wildstar and you're watching this you'll notice I yeah I, I like I go backwards a bunch I backpedal which is something that I'm sure higher level players frown upon so I'm not claiming to be very knowledgeable I kind of that's what I wanted out of this series it's like let's learn about this this game together or maybe you can just straight up help me all right we're just kind of mindlessly doing quests for now I'll, I'll uh, just you know there's a lot to introduce super super pumped I'm sure it's uh, you can probably tell by how I'm talking about it that I'm super pumped to be playing in this MMO what's going on there's a lot of like really tiny um, cutscenes like this that I actually appreciate I think oh snap Did the sh it faded a shield? I wonder if there was a was a shield. Nope, it's still there. It looked like it faded the shield, but maybe, maybe not. Oh, ew! No, I need to get rid of that immediately. That goes strictly against my dark and edgy look. Gotta open. This is how I got rid of it, by the way. It was a very extensive. Um, costume like kind of system yeah see like this is all the, this is all the stuff that I'm hiding got like a n super nightcrawler look to me it's kind of cool like I, I um, the goal with when I created this character was obviously to just you know poke fun at some of the people who, who make the characters that are just like um, darkest uh, death blade ZZ or whatever you know, I'm poking fun at it. <clears throat> but uh, I actually kind of think my character looks pretty cool. Just just because he, he reminds me of, uh, yeah, like Nightcrawler. The, uh, not not the Jake Gyllenhaal Nightcrawler, but maybe in a little, in, in a less <laughs> lesser sense, I guess. In the kind of gangliness. All right, finicky, ruinic shoulders. That was but the first step. Wonder. I I'm uh, somebody who cares a lot about appearance. Oh man, could look like a football player. Those are some really straight football kind of shoulders. Actually, let's go do this real quick. Let's uh, let's show off the um, explorer mission. Any scientists open? What? Scientist is another one of these things. Like, ooh, what's, what is this? There's the a soldier, which is just there's a bunch of oh, a bunch of missions where you just kill more stuff basically, or make stuff explode, which is cool. Oh, s this is cool. Oh man, this is cool. I think this is the the Explorer mission, right? I, I played a little bit of, of uh, an Explorer on... I think this is the bad side, technically, quote-unquote. Like, this is the... This game's version of the Horde. 
whether or not they're actually bad is up to you kind of thing. Oh. But, oh my god, there's, I'm just talking about so many things at once. There's a soldier, an explorer, a scientist, and... I think it's like a settler? Or something? I don't know, I don't know what the fourth one is, and I don't know what it does either. But there's, yeah, the soldier just fights more stuff, explorer, explorers, scientists. I'm not entirely sure what it does. Here, let's see what I got. New class ability, ignite, new LAS slot. I think this is the LAS. Uh, what is this? Damage over time, right? Yeah, I, play, I played very little. Played a very little spell slinger in my time with Wild Star. I played it up to maybe level 5, so I'm about to approach on completely uncharted territories. What I know is Spell Surge is my, like, kind of signature ability. Everybody has, or every class has a really freaking sweet loadout. Like, you can choose from a lot of different abilities, and you can upgrade them and whatever. But, um, you can choose through the, for this set, and then everybody has, like, a signature ability. And you'll get, I think, three to choose between. There's like, since I I'm a, can be a DPS or a healer, there's one for a DPS, one for a healer, and I believe everybody also has a hybrid option. So like, half DPS, half healer. Bloodstone Canyon. This is a, okay, so this is a surveillance mission. This is part of my exploration. So I think what I have to do is pinpoint an exact location. And what that lets them do is, it's kind of just like, we want to bring you to this point so you can see this cool thing. Do I need a, do I need a title? Yeah. Scout Super Dark Gritty, Grim Gritty Shadow Soul. Not bad. Doesn't quite uh, roll off the tongue, but that's all right. So that was the first, like, technical explorer mission. Oh, I hope that all the explorer missions are... Can I get over this? Oh. The, all the explorer missions are more similar to the one where I gotta jump up stuff. I, I really like to climb up mountains like that uh, Ubisoft. See them mountains over there? If you activate enough radio towers, you can climb them. You know, I, I'm into that. Despite not really playing that many Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Same thing. Uh, despite not playing too many of them. Nothing against them, I just don't got the money. Free to play. <laughs> Kyle. Kyle. Kyle Bot. Oh, man. Look at this guy. Look at this jokester. He's not even dark and gritty. I don't know, that's the, uh... I, I'm still learning about the lore or... You know... I guess, is it even lore? The race? Yeah, the races are lore. Uh, I'm, I'm still learning, like, what all the races and classes are. I've got most of the classes down, but I think that's a Chua. Chua. He's kind of like the little bunny. Investigate Dominion de Demolition Expert. This dead Chua is wearing smoldering, smoldering gear. Oh, my God. They're everywhere. This is terrifying. Oh. This is the kind of thing that you you do a lot in like World of Warcraft, but when you apply it to such a cute bunny creature with such happy, bright visuals, it's terrifying. Wonder. Ooh, a newest surveillance mission. Yeah, let's get some gloves on. Yeah. <laughs> Too cool. Oh man. I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly Get, I'm gonna slowly get really into super dark, grim, grim, gritty Shadow Soul, aren't I? And I'm gonna, like, actually, unironically appreciate the name. That's what I feel happening. God, there's so much to do. One thing that, uh, I was off, like, I was off-putting to me about Wildstar is how much UI there is on the right and, like, how much stuff there is on the map. I, um, here, should I... Let's, but I, I, like, I turned off a lot of it, and I think it helped a great deal, and I, I shrunk stuff a little bit, shrunk the UI a bit. Oh, man. So here we're on embarking on a challenge. Oh, shoot, I should not have done that. 
and uh, what challenges are, they're kind of like time-sensitive missions, it's just... I killed that one spider, or the scorpion thing, and then it was like, alright, now if you can kill... It doesn't give you a number, it just gives you a percentage. This many, in this much time, you get a, an added bonus bonus. Alright, well, I'm... So I'm gonna just do that, because it looks like there's a, a mission that I'm supposed to be doing at the same time over here. Anyways. That was... I don't know... I don't know how to play this class yet. At all. Um... But I'll, I guess I'll explain it as I do this challenge. What? There's another... Get, break all the eggs, too. Oh, God. Gotta step on them all. That three things going at once. Wildstar, calm down. I'll start to explain my class, though. So basically, my first ability I have here is Quick Draw. It's a, it's your standard... It's basically the alternative uh, to an auto attack in other games. You know, a lot of other games have auto attacks. So there's that. That's the first thing I got. That's what that is. It's nothing, nothing crazy. But where it starts to get cool is I got this other ability here. This, uh... My second ability is Charge Shot. And, uh, I do know about these ones, so I can talk about these. And basically, I can tap it, and that'll let me just fire like crazy. But it also, you know, doesn't do that much. Or I can hold it down for a little bit, and it does a little bit more damage, but it also has a little bit bigger of a cooldown. And then... Here, it's not good to show it off on, uh, the guys that are about to die. I'll show you The big old damage. Or, you can charge it up all the way, and it does a butt-ton of damage. Butt-ton of damage. Next, we have a... Uh, what was it? Gate. Let's just teleport, and anybody you pass through gets stunned. Freaking sweet. It also destroys one interrupt armor. Okay, oh, that's something I'll talk about later. Um, and then the other ability we got here is very simple... It just, uh, does damage over time. It sets them on fire. However, it's not just that simple. <laughs> the Spell Slinger has this signature... I call it a signature ability. I think it's called just a special ability. And that lets us power up our abilities. You see right there. Got Spell Surge active. So now every ability we do is going to take away one of these spell... Or, one of these spell powers. It takes 25, but... One of these circles... These circles add up to 100, so that's, it takes away 25. And then, uh, if it has something special to it, which I think they all do except for my gate right now. Um, so like, if I spell surge and I use quick draw, it just does more damage. But then if I run out, I lose my spell surge. So, it does more damage four times, and you kind of just, you know, you pick and choose which one you want. Because if I do spell surge, and then, um... Charge shot. It lets it charge up much quicker, and I think it does more damage. Nope. Ch reach full charge in 1.4 seconds instead of Mississippi 2, Mississippi 3. So basically, it charges up twice as quick. And it also pierces through some of their armor. I imagine that's probably pretty good against a scarab. And then the other thing that we can do right now, we can charge shot. And then put the fire on them. And what that does, it just um, does more damage. Damage increased to 29 per tick. Alright, so now I explained everything about my class that I know right now. Gotta kill more Venom Bite spiders. I imagine the correct... Well, and the cool thing about Wildstar, I don't know if that is necessarily correct uh, a way of casting these things. Oh, we actually uh, got both the challenges. Cool. Or if it's entirely situational, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my god, that was great. Um, I don't know if there's a correct, like, or super good order that you really should aim to, to do these stuff in, but if there was, I'd say it's probably, like, start out with Ignite, um, do, do a couple quick draws, and then finish them off with a really huge charge shot. That's, that's my thought process. Okay, so I get to pick a shield here. I have no clue what is better for a DPS. Um, let 
Let's see. I, I have no clue. My mad... I would imagine... That, uh... Be something with a quick reboot time. That's my thought. Ooh. Oh, man. That's really good. I must... I just found that on the ground? That's cool. Quest item here, too. All right. Anything else that matters in here? Nah. All right. What else do we got? Uh, let's see what's up here, and then maybe we'll call it an episode. Bloated. Hmm. Up. Oh. Is for movement go? Oh, wait a minute. We got another uh, flame burst. Oh, I, okay, actually, I do know what this one is. Um, this does not get any benefit from Spell Surge, which is, uh, you know, it's all right. Because if, if you have everything with Spell Surge, it's going to make it really complicated to pick which one to, to choose. Wait, do we want to go over this? We might want to go over this way. But every anytime we get a critical hit, uh, if you don't know what a crit is, uh, well, <laughs> every once in a while you do a really, really powerful shot. But, um, yeah, whenever you get a crit, you will be able to use this ability. It's just a, something to keep you engaged. So, I, if I'm firing this, one of my shots gets a crit. I got a boom. It's the smart idea is to do a flame burst to maximize your damage per sec. What the hell is this thing? Dreg abomin- Dread? Is it Dreg or Dreg? Dredge? Probably Dreg. Wouldn't make sense for it to be dredge. Oh man. This thing is harder to get to than I thought. So maybe I'll just... Oh god. Roasting Chua? Oh no, <laughs> I don't like that! Challenge begins. Fire and Brimstone. Alright. That is absolutely terrifying! God, please tell me if I finish this quest, I can help him. Alright, so I don't know what I need to do. I I just have to pick all these up. That's no problem. Oh, I turned off my spell thing. Boom! Like, that was my flame burst. And that's a... Ah, dang it, I was trying to do something cheeky. And that's what I was, uh... Talking about when I was saying the combat's really engaging. There's... Stuff like, uh, you just gotta watch out for. You gotta watch the ground, because what if somebody does an attack that could, like, screw you up big time? Ooh. Like, you get caught in it, you get stunned forever. So you gotta watch the ground and make sure that that doesn't happen. You have to, um, make sure you're paying attention to see if, like, for me, my flame burst is up. And overall, you just gotta make sure you're, you know, using the most optimal abilities for the time. So it's, it's cool. There, it's definitely not just, um, from what I can tell, it's not just memorize your rotation and you're good. You're, oh, your inventory is full. I was like, no, it's not. Uh, I guess I, do I get two things? What do I want to get rid of? I guess that. <laughs> That's ironic. The thing I got for completing the quest was more bag space. All right. Well, let's uh, finish off this challenge here. And then we will... Oh, I got my thing. Let's boop, use it. So good. I love this class so far. Super... Oh, man. It is the ultimate super dark. <laughs> It's the ultimate super dark class. Is he on fire? He seems like he's got a lot of health. Alright. And some of these uh, special challenges have uh, bonuses for doing them better or like quicker or, you know, whatever. Depending on the, the challenge. Getting, getting more. Insert whatever. This one looks like there's just one rank. It's just... Do it in time or or not. 
so that's cool. I can't believe it's it's oh it's disturbing to see such a, to me a cute thing. Some people are quite against the Chua, I think. Much like people are against gnomes in World of Warcraft and you know, the always the cute ish class or race. God, this guy's slow. Well the good news is I'm totally gonna get this in time. I'm never using my teleport, but I've never really been in a, that sticky of a situation yet. I should use it to uh, interrupt spells. That's something I'll, I'll talk about it at a later time. Not near the end of the episode. Not at the end of the episode, but... Um, well, yeah. You can, you can interrupt spells. And it's something that you want to do. The game uh, definitely rewards you for doing it. So... That is that. We completed the challenge on time, as expected, and we got we get a couple cool things. Let's pick them up. And then what's this? Another bag. We could get health potions, but I don't. I very rarely use them. It's probably a bad call. But I think right now. Just getting bags is, is a smart move, because now we have a lot more space. All right. Well, that about does it for this first episode here. I had a really good time. I, I love this... Oh, I love this game, but... God, my freaking face. It's uglier than this guy over here. Um, I had a really great time, and I hope you guys liked it, too. I know it's I know it's different. I know it's a completely different like formula in my other series. I know it's kind of a different game style of game, too. But... Please, if you, if you liked it, let me know. I will happily do more of it. It's such a good time for me. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Oh, can I dance? Yeah, I can. Greatly appreciate it. Any support you uh, wish to leave for this series here, thank you, thank you. Wait, 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 wait. See you next time. <laughs>